Wow, Jesus Christ at our dinner table. <laughs> I still can't get over it. I'm actually glad you're all here tonight. I want to tell you that one of you will betray me. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Ah, he's doing that thing he did in his storybook. So, Jesus, finish that story you were telling us. Oh, all right, all right. So there I was. They'd just beaten me senseless, stuck thorns in my head, nailed me to a piece of wood, shoved a sponge full of vinegar in my mouth, and killed me. Then they put me in a hole with a rock in front of it for two whole days, and come Sunday, bam, I rise from the dead. Okay, that sounds like a nutty weekend, but I can top it. So me and Cleveland and Joe are just wrecked on Southern Comfort, right? We know we're going to puke, but Joe says, hey, let's go see Chronicles of Riddick. Sat through the whole thing without puking. Then I get home, wouldn't you know I lost my glasses? Eh? Peter 1, Jesus 0. You know, Jesus, if I go get my cell phone, would you mind talking to my friend Muriel Goldman? I really just want to rub her Jewish nose in this. All right, I'll be the one to say it. How do we know you're really Jesus? Can you perform miracles? Sure. How about this? Oh, boy, Sundays! I love you, Jesus! Oh, I love you too, fella. Hey, Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? 